Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and I am a licensed massage therapist in California. Today is going to be an exciting video because I want to talk about the pros and cons of working at a spa. Of course, this channel is all about massage therapy, um, having a career in massage therapy or basically in holistic health, and also giving tips on balancing your work and your life and finding more peace as well. And let's go ahead and get started. So of course I am a massage therapist and I do work at a luxury spa. So I do know the good and not so great parts of working in a spa compared to other you know, other different environments such as like, you know, doctor's office, chiropractic office, etc. And I actually do want to make it more of like a regular series on this channel where I talk to other massage therapists about what it's like working at a doctor's office or um, at a physical therapy office or even working in a cruise because I actually just came back from a cruise and I was so interested in you know, what it's like to be a massage therapist working on a boat for like eight months. So if you are a massage therapist in these specific working environments, go ahead and comment down below. I'm so interested. So I'm first going to talk about the cons of working in a spa and then we'll end with the positives. But also just a disclaimer that I do love working at a spa. It was actually one of my only choices. I didn't really want to work anywhere else besides a spa because my my dream goal, you know, in this career is to own a spa one day. So I really wanted to know what it was like to work in a spa and to work in a more relaxing environment. After working in a spa for two years, here's my insight. So the first con of working at a spa is that it's harder to maintain your regular clients because you know, we have so many more clients coming in and out of the spa and it's different when you go to a chiropractic office or even when you're going into a physical therapy office. Um, you kind of see the same people more often because you're helping people more with their pain and managing their pain, etc. Whereas in a spa, it's more like luxury, it's more like you're there to relax and just to enjoy like a spa day with your friends. So you will probably have different people coming in every single day. And so of course it's harder to maintain that like client relationship with them because they're just there for, you know, a really nice spa day for relaxation. Okay, the second con is that you're doing pretty much the same massages every time you know for me i mostly do swedish or deep tissue every now and then i will do like sports massage but that's not very common i feel like sports massage is something you do more if you work at a chiropractic office or a physical therapy office and you know again you're at a spot to relax so most of it is like very like medium pressure swedish massage and if you are looking for more variety the spa may not be for you and you know, it's, it is easier in a lot of ways because you are mostly doing the same type of massages, but if you want to do more like medical massage or sports therapy or um, working with pain management, I would recommend looking at a different avenue for massage therapy because again, a spa is more relaxing. And again, a relaxing massage can give you amazing benefits and it can help with your pain possibly and it can help with fatigue and burnout but there isn't like a specific goal when you get a spa massage like some people that work with physical therapists they may help with sciatica or like you know specific lower back pain whereas at a spa it's just like you don't really expect too much coming out of a massage as far as like relieving certain types of pain okay the third con is that you can get burned out easily because at a spa, you're always booked, at least the spa that I work out, like I'm always booked. I barely ever have cancellations or empty slots. Like people want massages. And that's the great thing about this career is that like, especially after COVID, people have been really stressed and people are looking for some type of relief and the massages are always in demand. And I see it everywhere. Like even when I'm trying to book massages at different spas, it's like you have to book a month in advance and at the cruise that I just went to, like they're always so busy. Like people love massages and facials too, but I feel like I prefer massages more because I can feel more of a, a benefit and I just love the feeling after a massage. Um, but because of that, you can get burnt out more easily. I can only do at most five massages because whew, more than that is really a lot on my body. So 
If you do work at a spa, just make sure that you know your limits and if you push further than that, you can cause injury to your body. So the more you work, the more you'll realize like what your boundaries are, what your limits are and how to take care of yourself. And you know, burnout is real and it can happen to your body. So that's why it's more of a corporate setting. Like you kind of go in, you do your massages, the next person, and then you know, it's just kind of like, bam 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 you know you just finish your day you have your four to five clients and then you're done for your day but it's it's kind of routine at times you know and you do the same thing and of course if you love massage you're gonna love it but if you need every day to be different this might not be the specific environment for you to work at all right the last con is that turnover time can be difficult for some people now if you don't know what turnover time is is, is basically when you finish your massage and then you only have like 10 minutes to prepare your room for the next client. I'm not sure what it's like to prepare yourself for your next client in other work settings. However, I do know like, you know, if I work on my own private clients, I do have more time to like, you know, clean my table and go to the next house. But at a spa, it's like you have to get everything done in 10 minutes, at least at the two spas I worked at. Like, so say you start your massage at 10 a.m. and it's a 50 minute massage, so you end at 10.50, you have to be ready at 11 a.m. for your next massage. So you have to be good at time management, you can't end too late, and you have to work fast for that specific time period. And some people like to take their time, however at a spa you have to like go, go, go at times. Of course, like it just depends what spa you work at. At my spa, it's not too stressful, but I have heard stories from other coworkers where like people, like the clients take their time in the room and then they dress, they have to get back into their clothes and it takes extra time. So also find a spa that is more organized and not as stressful. I personally like more luxury spas. I like spas where guests can get into a robe. So all they have to do after the massage is get into their robe and then just leave after the massage instead of like, you know, where they have to dress up and put their clothes back on and it just takes more time. So yeah, I love luxury spas. I love working at hotel spas and I live nearish to Napa as, as well. So I'm really curious what it's like working in those types of spas because like, I'm sure it's so luxurious and like they have so many different treatments. So that is the last con. I don't have too many cons because I do love, I love spas. I've loved spas ever since I was like 10 years old. It's just been like my place. So now we're gonna talk about the pros of working in a spa. So the first one is that it's a very relaxing environment. And of course, like I said, I've loved spas for years, years and years. And imagine just going to work and listening to like very peaceful music. There's aromatherapy in the air and it's very quiet. People are so relaxed and it's just beautiful, especially if you work at a really nice spa. like. In, in the world, like you sometimes people go to work and it's very stressful, especially if you have to deal with a lot of people or like just a lot of like stress, whatever you wherever you work. Um, but at a spa, it's, it's for the most part, it's a very peaceful environment, it's a very peaceful job, and that's the main reason why I love this job as well. Because again, like I just really want to prioritize peace in my life and I don't want too much stress anymore. It's a very relaxing and rewarding environment to be in. So the next pro is that it's fulfilling to see how relaxed people are after a massage. And it, again, this just kind of ties into like, it's a very fulfilling job to begin with because massages, everyone wants massages, like I said before, and it just makes you feel so good. And when you see people feeling happy, when you see people feeling like a whole new person, like nothing beats that feeling. It's amazing to see people like renewed and refreshed. So that's another like main thing. And you know, working like working as a medical massage therapist or with physical therapists, all of that, like of course I'm sure it's relaxing, but it's more so like target targeting a specific area. And I've heard clients say that like when they go to their physical therapist or chiropractor, it's more like deep, deep tissue. So it's not as relaxing as a spa massage. Spa massages are relaxing. People go there for a beautiful spa day and that's what it is. All right, the third pro is that everything is already there for you. All the materials you need, all the supplies you need, they provide everything for you and that's what makes it stress-free. So they have the hot towel cabbies for you. They have the aromatherapy, the oils, the lotions, the sheets. 
everything is there and all you have to do is go to work prepare your room and that's it and you know I love that because if you own your own business you have to have your own equipment you have to have everything prepared already and again I'm not sure what it's like working at a chiropractic office and all that that's why I want to interview people that do work in a more medical setting but at a spa I know that there everything is already there for you and it just makes it a whole lot easier to work and to get through your day when you have everything prepared and cleaned as well okay number four is that you can get a job so easily as a massage therapist if you work in a spa so yeah basically every spa that i've interviewed for i've gotten that job and that's not to brag i think it's just the fact that it's easier to get a job in a spa like spas are always hiring they're always hiring i see so many job listings and um it's kind of tempting sometimes to like want to interview in different places just because like i don't know it's just I, i'm always curious what it's like to work in different spas you can also work in a fitness center like a fitness center that has a spa in it so i've just been kind of like curious about what it's like working in the equinox spa and if you don't know what equinox is it is a like a high-end luxury fitness center and gym and usually they have spas in them and i'm just wondering what it's like because it's so beautiful also tip for finding jobs is that if you work in a high-end fitness center you'll get a free membership because i worked at a high-end fitness club for a bit and i got a free membership there and it was so nice all the equipment and they had saunas and hot tubs and everything and we got to use all of that so if you want to if you're really into like a healthy lifestyle and you're a massage therapist try working at a fitness center because they have some great benefits for you as well so yeah you can get a job very easily as a massage therapist and again like you mostly just do swedish and deep tissue so just try to perfect those massages learn more techniques and you'll get a job right away all right the last pro is that this is more of a superficial one but it is important and it's that you do get paid pretty well working in a spa and i know this because of where i work and also research on how much other spas pay their employees from you know looking at indeed and other job sites and yeah, you get paid pretty well, and especially if you work in the city. Oof, the city. Sometimes they pay you around like $60 to $70 an hour or per session, plus gratuity. Like, it's pretty awesome, but I, I would prefer not to work in the city for me just because of the commute. But if you're already in the city or near the city, like, try it out and see if you like working there. And also, they have such beautiful spas in the city. I was looking at San Francisco and I was like, oh, they have such beautiful spas, but it's just the commute for me. It really is just the commute. But if I live near there, I would definitely work at like the most high-end spa because that is where my heart is, guys. I love, oh, I love high-end spas. I love high-end hotels. I used to work at the Ritz-Carlton and um, more in the hotel aspect, not in the spas. But we did have a spa at the Ritz-Carlton and I wanted to work there as well at one point, but... I just love high-end like brands, hospitality brands, spas, all of that. I am very drawn to that and even the spa that I work at right now, I love it. So that is pretty much the pros and cons of working at a spa. And um, again, I will have more videos on, you know, what it's like to work in a doctor's office and a cruise ship. Where else? Where else, guys? Tell me what other what other environments you can work at what it's like to have your own business what it's like to have to have your own mobile massage business i'm here and i want to learn more and i want to know what it's like to have other types of careers in this holistic wellness industry i love it and i might be having actually a podcast i'm i'm still kind of in the works on that but I want to have a podcast. It might be called The Balanced Body, and it's about massage therapy careers and trying to balance your life, you know, your work and your life, and um, learning more about the holistic wellness industry because I'm really interested in it. I'm interested in acupuncture, acupressure, course massage therapy, all of that. So I want to learn more. So if you are interested in a spa, I hope that this video helped you and I will see you guys soon. Bye.